Cam, you mentioned the other night when it comes to this Detroit Pistons team that the streak was not something that you guys were concerned with, but you guys didn't want it to happen on your home court. How do you feel about it now being the next game where it could happen again on their court? Yeah, same thing. Um, not really worried about it. Um, we're trying to, like, you know, improve on our win streak. You know, we got a, we was on a loser streak. We got off of that. So we want to, you know, keep building our win streak. So just had some momentum going into All-Star break a little bit. So we just want to, you know, keep building and keep playing the right way. So, you know, we're not really worried about the streak, honestly. When it comes to that right way, what is just that next step for this group in continuing that standard? Yeah, just, uh, just keep sharing the ball amongst each other. Uh, I feel like we've been sharing the ball real well, sharing the ball, taking good shots, um, you know, running wide in transition, just, you know, just doing everything unselfish so everybody, you know, can have a good game and everybody have, you know, some type of impact on the game. So that's really the main thing to it. When you were talking about taking good shots, I mean, has, has Jacques been harping on the shot profile changing or tweaking the shot profile that you guys are looking for? Or? I mean, yeah, some of the shots, obviously the mid ranges, but I mean that's some of us that's some of our game, so you can't really take that away. But obviously you wanna take better mid ranges, some of us. So I mean you can't really you know, you can't really take a, fully take away the mid range because that's what, you know, two, three of us shoot. So, you know, you just gotta look at it how you can get better mid ranges off and just, you know, try to excel in that. So nah, yeah. Sure. I mean you're obviously known to be good in mid range, Mikhail's good in the mid range. Just how important is it for you that, I guess, going forward, the both of you guys can actually go off? Like, a lot of times you'll go off and he won't, or he'll go off and you won't. Just how important is it for you guys, for both of you to be clicking on all cylinders at the same time? Um, <laughs> honestly, uh, I don't really have a comment on that. I mean, we just got to, you know, both come out strong, aggressive, so... You know, that was a good question. I don't really have a comment for that. <laughs> when you and um, when, when you're on the floor with Dennis, what exactly is the difference with him on the court? Guys say he brings the energy, but just what is it like when he's out there playing the way he plays and it just scares feet off of that? Yeah, just you know, like I said, the energy. Um, obviously, when he has the ball, he pushes the pace for the second group. So, you know, get a turnover, or aggressive defense. He's pushing the ball. We all can just run wide. He'll find us. You know, he's a good player, so he's gonna find us for open threes, open dunks, open layups, and then, you know, he has the ability to break down his own man, get to the bucket, finish, get a foul. So he really puts a lot of pressure on the second unit, second unit um, guard. So, you know, that's really a good thing for our team, a good dynamic for us to have. So, you know, I'm glad he's back. And then when he's obviously talking and being, you know, holding guys accountable, making you guys hold him accountable, I guess, for somebody who's relatively new to the team, how easy was it for him to kind of assert himself and for you guys to listen when he did assert himself? Yeah, I mean, just having somebody who's, you know, going to be vocal, you know, we got to have that as a point guard in the second unit, you know. So whoever's in the second unit, whoever's out there with him, he's going to be vocal, you know, putting guys in the right spots. And just, you know, like you said, holding people accountable, playing hard, not letting the energy slip, you know, try not to. But, you know, he's been a great addition for us. So, you know, we just got to keep it up. You mentioned you were talking about defense. You mentioned energy. You mentioned aggression. Is the aggression the biggest key? in terms of forcing turnovers? Oh yeah, for sure. Just being, really just the aggression activity, um, being act, like, you know, active hands, you know, active hands get you a long way, whether it's, you know, deflections or anything. So, you know, just not having like steals or blocks on the stat sheet doesn't really say you're playing good defense. Just as far as the activity, forcing the tough shots, you know, some of the stuff's not gonna pop up, like the deflections that some of us get. So, you know, that's just really what it is. What is just the dynamic of going into a game when you do have a situation in the regular season where you're taking on the same team, not in a back-to-back, -back. you had two days, but basically back-to-back -back when it comes to the games? Yeah. Um, it kind of gives like a back-to-back -back approach, but you know, you try to look at what they did last games, the adjustments they made, and try to like, you know, go over that for the next game. Cause you know, if it worked, they'll, they'll use it in the next game or Everybody still runs the same set, so it's not really much different. It's just, you know, the, the adjustments that they made, you want to, like, go over that. So it's not really much different. Do you like that in the regular season? I know you uh, like it in the regular season. Not really. Uh, it's, nah, not really in the regular season. I like I like to play different teams every day. You know, maybe play them, then a team, then play them again. But if 
fact that Vegas is kind of crazy in the regular season. So, you know, but it is what it is.